know where you guys are watching from, but this is where we live. So I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. We're in Virginia. I don't know if you guys can see the sunset. We are right near West Virginia, so there's the mountains. And now we're getting ready to do the dimension video that everybody's asked for. All right, we'll start with the bucket. Uh, bucket is 48 inches, just shy of 48 inches. Um, it is uh, 16 inches deep. Um, well, that's a little over 16 inches. Let's take it. We are. Right at 17 and an eighth with the teeth on. Probably 17 with the teeth off. Um, it is 16 tall. All right, now everybody wants to see the lift height, so we'll get that. bottom of the loader arm, 59 inches, because I know you can't hear him very well. I'm just repeating it because I can't hear you. Uh, the loader frame, I guess. Um, come out five and three quarters off of the main plate and I went up 13 and three quarter from there and then I have uh, four and a half these little plates welded on top of that and then from there um, this one's kind of hard to measure we got 13 and a half up from here to here and from the end back to here, it comes out to 30 inches. Um, total width of the frame across is 26 and a quarter. Um, the cylinders are just 14 inch cylinders, two inch bore. So I'm not gonna go into that measurement. all the measurements uh, we need. If there's, any, <laughs> if there's any other measurements that you guys would like to see, just let us know and we will make sure that we come out here and get it for you. This is what happens when you do builds. This is what it looks like. Yeah, you gotta bring, the golf, <laughs> you gotta bring the golf cart to get on and pick it all up. For what's not already on your front porch. And go then, Amazon. That's the yeah, go Amazon. I think he brought up fresh bugs. I heard something really gross the other day. The people that think they're vegans and vegetarians and everything who continue to like eat like wheat and bread and all that stuff. Do you know the amount of moles and voles and rabbits and stuff that if they you eat ketchup you know how many they like, animals you probably yeah eat. like they round up in the in yeah. the thing and then you end up eating their 
<laughs> bodies anyways. It grossed me out. I couldn't eat my garlic bread the other day. That's why you don't think about that shit. I think it does pretty damn good. Perfect. No, it did good. You covered up the hole. Also, what your house looks like when you order stuff. Hey guys, this is Lindsay. I'm Justin's wife, and we all have those spouses that have these great ideas that want to do these big builds um, on a budget. So let's really see if he got it on a budget. So we have it up here, the John Deere loader build. Some of these things are going to surprise you. They surprised me. Um, the, cylinders, the cylinders weren't bad. The cylinders were about $128 each. We got them on Amazon, so about $256. The weld on hooks came in a three-pack. So $18.99, we just rounded it up to $19, but the bolts, I never realized how expensive bolts are. Now, we didn't have a problem with the 3 8 or the 5 8 it was the 1 inch. Do yourself a favor, do some figuring out on where you can get your bolts, but your local hardware store is probably going to charge you almost $100 for four bolts. And lock, the lock nuts. That's and the lock nuts. The lock nuts. So... That was a little bit of a surprise when we were trying to do this. When he told me he spent $100 on four bolts, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, so about $150 we had in bolts. Hydraulic lines and fittings, we took it to a local place here. Um, they got Justin right in front of the line because they thought it was cool because I guess you guys think that these things are cool. Um, and it's a cool little contraption. So they did the hydraulic lines and fittings. It was really like 280 but by the time you add tax and... Justin gave him a tip, you know, it's about $300, and they did great work. I also buy my belts there, so I mean, And like, yeah, you know, he does his, right, he belts. buys his lawnmower belts there, um, they got the but they also belts. did, tell them what they, they plumbed in for you. Oh, underneath, they plumbed in the on-off switch for the deck lift and rear lift, for like, for your sleeve hitch or three-point, whatever you have. Um, I got an on-off valve, he plumbed it in, um, kind of did that after hours, and you know he was on his own time there but he just was trying to help me out and uh so, so really doing business local with your local shops is the way to go you know if you have a local machine shop a lot of those people do hydraulic lines as well this happens to be a, a mennonite uh you machine say mennonite? i, I guess mennonite? I, if you're convinced that it's not going to offend anybody it's a Mennonite it's a little run. Mennonite um, run. I mean, they're like old school. Like uh, I don't know how to explain it. They don't have, like have power. They run everything off generator. Their light bulbs are he are wasn't sure they had power. a phone number. He wasn't even sure they had a. Phone they do number. actually have a phone. But they, they do. do. They do. They do. And um, anyway, they, they did fit us in. So they work on tractors. They do hydraulic lines. Uh, I don't know where you live or what you got around you, but check with those kind of places because. You know, you can work on keeping it a little straighter. Well, hey, I can't talk and do hand motions at the we same time. We realize. So where else we also got into a bad situation was in the flat metal land. Justin really had saved up. When I say that he's got a little store, like a, a little graveyard of metal, of anything metal that ever comes out of the house or comes out of the shop or anything like that, he has really saved up a bunch of spare metal, and he really used a lot of that to build this, but we did need some flat metal pieces. My stash pieces. is getting low now. Yeah. We needed some flat metal pieces, and we were. It was a weekend, so we had no choice but to go to Tractor Supply. So you could probably get it at a better price than we did, but it was about one hundred and twenty dollars for us to buy some. What do you know what size that we had to buy? It was uh, three by one eighth, and they didn't have enough three by one eighth. So I think I did three sections of what was that six foot? Yeah. Um, three sections of six foot, two or three inch by one. Inch quarter and then I did the two inch by quarter inch uh, one of them because they just didn't have enough so, so we kind of got stuck with whatever they a had in stock on a Saturday and B we were and just that was also just two stores that really and well yeah um, Lowe's so we is not the place to buy metal Lowe's and tractor supply and really if it had been during the week we probably would have been able to go somewhere else and get a better deal so true story the next one is the paint. You can probably do this a lot cheaper if you were not as concerned about paint. Paint's kind of Justin's gig. So he used some, he, 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 what did we use, some leftover rust uh, oleum? Yeah, leftover rust um, oleum. So you can buy like quarts of it. They sell it in quarts. Quarts, gallons. At Tractor Supply, gallons, and tractor. We've used it for a bunch of things before. 
But by the time you add that, the reducer, um, hardener. the hardener, we probably have about $60 in the paint world. Um, so total... Primer. Oh, yeah. Did you use spray bomb primer? I did use spray bomb okay. primer. Okay. So he went spray bomb with the primer. So if you want to go spray bomb primer and spray bomb for I mean, the you things can you can... You can get by with that, Al. You, you can, can brush by. it if you want yeah, to. Yeah, you can I mean. brush it. You can... Whatever fits you. So you could probably save money in the bolts. You could save money in the metal. And you could save money in the paint. But now, cylinders, that was the cheapest that, that I could cheapest. find anywhere. And I went with the two by 14 cylinders because on Amazon, that is the cheapest one. Now, also, this is basically your material cost. So we did keep the materials under $1,000. However, what we aren't putting into this cost is... Your, your, your saw block saw. and the 905 Huh? Your elbow. Yeah. Oh, so nine hundred five. We kept it under a thousand dollars. So we're at nine hundred five, and that was with raw material costs here. What it isn't counting for is your cutoff wheels, your grinders, your sawzalls, the welding wire, the welding gas, um, your electricity. Justin probably spent what would you say like a month working on this in the evenings, in the evenings and, and on the weekends yeah. on just Saturdays so a couple hours in the evenings on Monday Tuesday Wednesdays and Fridays sometimes and then Saturdays so you might want to calculate that yourself I don't know how expensive your electricity is or the air compressor or anything else that you need to run to be able to do this but just material wise he did keep it under a thousand dollars so he was able to do it with this stuff plus what he had in the shop and keep it at about yeah, no it would have been a lot more if I had to buy all the yeah. square tubing and the flat metal that I made the bucket out of uh, now where he sold me on this though is the cheapest one you can find we've done some research the cheapest one we can find online is around a little bit over three thousand dollars but it's two hundred dollars to ship it to you but then if you want custom hooks and you want certain things yeah, on it, or bucket teeth or, or bucket teeth or anything like that if you want to add those custom things it's about thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars so to your door to your door because it was two hundred dollars in shipping so in all reality spending about a little bit less than a thousand dollars you know they're going to try to hit you with the tailgate charge yeah because that would have to be freight i'd assume but anyway. well, i don't know how heavy it but i'm not sure yeah but anyway. in all reality, we kept it under $1,000 in materials. Now, labor, that's a different, I mean, if you've got this skill set and you can be able to do this, it does save us tremendously because we did not spend $4,000. Um, and we were able to get this bucket. And hopefully you are able to watch some of the things in this earlier video. Of yeah, and if you're tuning into this, uses. you can go back and check the actual videos of us of me building it. Um, it's a three-part series of yeah. him building it from start and to finish. And then next week's video should be the H2, the H2 conver conversion, conversion uh, because originally my tractor didn't have but one hydraulic uh, valve, I guess you'd say. So I also didn't include that into the cost. Um, that's something to think about if you have like a tractor that only has one set of hydraulics. Um, and then we also have a sleeve hitch. We should have put this on a tripod so you could come around yeah. here and explain that as well. We have a sleeve hitch video coming we do up. We have a sleeve hitch video coming out as well. So, so in the next two weeks, you'll get the H2 conversion. You'll get the sleeve hitch. Um, and then if you guys have any other specific questions, in this video previous on this one, you're going to see the dimensions. If there's something that's unclear or there's some other dimensions that you want to see. Or if I measured all that wrong and, and there's a technical way. Or if there's an actual true like. process of measurement that needs to happen and we did not do it properly, let us know and we can remeasure anything that you need us to. Yeah. And I mean, no, this isn't a, a 1023 John Deere or a Kubota BX. It's it's not that. But for around here, it's, it's perfect for the needs that we need it for. Uh, you know? Yeah. Fixing the driveway, clearing out some brush, you know turning over the uh, compost pile so for us it's perfect it works um, out for us and we've he's wanted this for a long time I mean we've been doing mulch by hand like you yeah, know, we just mulch. pull it off the truck fucking and mulch jeez it mulch is a problem um, I hate so mulch any of those projects he's wanted he's been wanting this you know this loader build so he finally did it and it cost about a thousand dollars 
If you guys have any questions, let us know. Drop it in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the little alert bell so you can know when we get put a new one live. And we appreciate you guys taking your time. Well, like. Well, we might work into love. Who knows? You never know. Yeah, never know. You might be. You might do something that is worth a lot video. Hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Like, can you go back and watch what you recorded? You can, but I don't know how. Okay. Never mind. We'll just wing it. We'll just wing it. You're recording. Should I introduce myself as your wife? You can. You can just be the mistress. No. Okay, guys. Here. My name is Lindsay. I'm Justin's wife. The bolts. Now, this is crazy because that was the most expensive portion that I would never have thought to have budgeted when we did this. But between 3 8 5 8 and the 1 inch, he spent almost $100 on four bolts that were 1 inch. He had to look everywhere for them, and it was the most yeah, expensive. Just, just get those elsewhere. Find them online. Find something. them somewhere else. Do um, not go to your local hardware store yeah. and get one inch bolts. Your local hardware store. Underneath there so I could shut that off. This looks a little pricey, but they did a lot of work. And they also like put me right in front of the line because they thought the little loader was cool. So I think, you know. I mean, we, sorry, these should be really no Mennonites. No Mennonites. No. Yeah, I bet you people like, like Mennonites. Like, a lot of people that are out there building have, like, I don't know if that's offensive to Mennonites. I don't think it's offensive. Mennonites are what do Mennonites right? call themselves? <laughs> Mennonites aren't They're right. just regular people to other Mennonites. That's, that's, 